What's up guys? Welcome back to what I was calling the Breakfast Queen cooking show, but this isn't really breakfast, even though it was my first meal of the day. So whether or not you eat paella for breakfast, this is vegan paella. So we're gonna start of course by heating our pan and putting about a quarter cup of olive oil to heat up and chopping all of your veggies in advance definitely speeds up the process. Starting with our onions, of course, letting those sit in. We get a nice little bit of caramelization on them and then going right in to put the bell peppers since they need the longest to cook. Soon, of course, we'll add in the mushrooms. I decided I wanted smaller slices, so I went ahead and cut all of them in half. Now that all of our base veggies have had a chance to start cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of the most important spices. Of course, there's garlic. I added about three large cloves for about half of the bulb. I also added salt and pepper to taste. Next is the paprika. This is a really important spice to the dish. I added quite a bit because I like it spicier. And then the most important is gonna be the saffron. Now this little box costs about three and a half euro and it had three of those tiny little bags of about 0.1 grams of powdered saffron. Just enough to add flavor and color. Next, it's time to deglaze the veggies with a little bit of white wine. I used that glass to measure out about eight ounces. I don't have measuring cups, so it's the best to have. Had a little extra, so I took a sip. Uh, this is adding a little bit of brightness and citrusiness to the dish. Once our rice has reduced, time for the bomba rice. This is important paella rice. It's very short and fat, and I'm eyeballing about a cup and a half. We're gonna let that rice cook just a little bit, about two minutes just to get it a little bit translucent. Next, we add frozen peas. We're also gonna add the garbanzo beans. Next, it's time to add the diced tomatoes. For some reason, I couldn't find diced tomatoes, so these are whole, and then I'm just gonna chop them up in the pan. Now for our final ingredient is our vegetable broth. This is what everything's going to cook in for the next 25 minutes. I added just a touch more salt, gave it a nice little stir to make sure everything was saturated and underneath the broth. And now we're gonna cover it, let it boil, and then take it down to a simmer and let it sit for about 25 minutes. When I uncovered it, I realized that it still looked like it was cooking. It was a little bit more wet than it was last time. So I took a spoon and tasted it. Everything was cooked and tasting delicious. So I went ahead and just left it a little bit more on the wet side. Now I'm finishing the dish off with some freshly squeezed lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil mixed together. This is adding that last touch of citrusiness and brightness to the dish. Now I am portioning out technically one portion size worth, but don't worry, I will eat two to three of these bowls. And that lemon juice is delicious, so I'm adding just a little bit extra. And then we're gonna finish it officially off with some green olive slices, add a little bit of that tang. Lemon wedges. And there you have it, vegan paella. So to critique this meal just a little bit, um, I think it's a little bit more uh, moist than I would prefer. I obviously don't have measuring cups and I didn't really measure anything. I just kind of threw it all into a pot. Um, it still turned out really tasty. It's got a lot of flavor to it, but I think it's a little bit on the moist side. Um, other than that, it is an incredible dish, honestly. I mean, there's like 
five different vegetables in here. You've got protein, you've got vitamins, it's filling. It's everything that you want out of a dish. So absolutely highly suggested. It was great. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.